Nancy Cordes was at last night's raucous and contentious debate. Nancy joins us now. Uh, Nancy, the tension that has been building between Clinton and Sanders uh, finally seemed to explode. What was Senator Sanders' main goal last night, and do you think he achieved it? He had a couple of goals, Vlad. First of all, he wanted to take on Clinton's ties to Wall Street right here in the belly of the beast in New York City, just across the river from Wall Street itself. Uh, he said that her Wall Street donations uh, are a sign that she simply can't be trusted to hold Wall Street's feet to the fire. Uh, he pushed her to release the transcripts of her Wall Street speeches, to which she replied, well, why don't you release your tax returns as I did eight months ago? The other thing that he wanted to do that was interesting is, you know, Let's look at the reality. He is trailing. Uh, and in the event that Hillary Clinton is the nominee, the best way for him to have a lasting impact on this race is for him to try to get her to endorse some of his proposals. And so that's what he did last night on several different issues, like climate change, uh, like Social Security. He pushed her to kind of adopt his agenda. Are you willing to do X? Where do you stand on Y? She was kind of noncommittal. She doesn't want to get uh, tied down to anything that she would then have to walk back in the general election or that might give her a little bit of heartburn in the general election. Uh, and she pointed out uh, that just because she has a different idea for the way uh, that she would tackle some of these problems doesn't mean that she's wrong and doesn't mean that she's part of the establishment. Uh, you know, Bernie Sanders really questioned her judgment on a few things. He mentioned one of them, her speaking fees um, from Wall Street firms, also her Iraq war vote. Nothing new. Probably she expected this. But how do you think she handled right. the criticism? Uh, I think she was expecting it. And, and that's why uh, when the moderator asked Senator Sanders, so give us an example of a time when her uh, Wall Street ties have influenced uh, her vote on a piece of legislation. He couldn't really uh, name a specific piece of legislation. He, instead, he said, well, you know, after the Wall Street meltdown, uh, when Senator, Secretary Clinton was no longer in Congress, she was the Secretary of State, uh, I went after the banks. I pushed for big legislation. She ended up taking uh, big money from the banks in, turn, in, in the form of uh, Wall Street speaking fees. Uh, and, and Hillary Clinton came right, right back at him and said, look, you can't name an example because there isn't one. Uh, so this is a clash uh, that has been, has been going on, obviously, as you pointed out, for months. Uh, I'm not sure that it has quite the same potency here in New York uh, that it has had for Senator Sanders in other places because you know, New York is home to Wall Street. Wall Street employs thousands of New Yorkers. Uh, the financial industry is uh, the biggest industry in this state. So uh, having ties to Wall Street uh, isn't quite uh, the most terrible thing here in New York uh, that it might be perhaps in some other parts of the country. Nancy, uh, did you notice that a Jewish candidate for the presidency of the United States was in Brooklyn and had a very different take on the Israeli-Palestinian uh, mm -hmm. crisis that has been brewing for so many years. Uh, at one point, he said that we can't start having a discussion until we start to treat the Palestinians with dignity and respect, and that not everything that Bibi Netanyahu says uh, we should take, mm -hmm. you know, I'm paraphrasing here, but that we should agree with everything that he says. I wonder if that's because we know that Bernie Sanders has a lot of young people out there. Uh, right. He's galvanized a lot of young people, and perhaps a lot of young Jewish millennials feel the same way that he does. Right. Wasn't that fascinating? You know, for uh, so many decades, it's kind of been uh, just, uh, you know, a, a, a standard that every Washington politician uh, says, I support Israel 100 percent of the time. Uh, we have to support our closest ally in the Middle East, period. Uh, but you are right that uh, Bernie Sanders does have a lot of young support. And uh, there are a lot of young Jews uh, here in New York and elsewhere who believe that you really can't have peace in the Middle East unless uh, the U.S. is more aggressive with Israel holding its feet to the fire uh, about the Palestinian situation. Uh, it's possible that as the first major Jewish candidate that he has uh, the ability uh, to press that case uh, that another politician simply wouldn't have because they would come across as anti-Israel. He's able to say, look, I spent time in Israel as a kid. I have relatives there. Uh, I am pro-Israel, but here is what I believe. Mm -hmm. Nancy Cordes, thanks a lot.
You got it.